right, hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to this video where we'll talk about something that just happened a few hours ago and uh, I basically could not wait to talk about it. This is basically a news update, so uh, a news update over one story, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first things first, a Mr. Junmo Kim has basically said that he has come to, um, well, him and his company has come to an agreement with Aptera for uh, their batteries, their battery packs. Um, it is unclear as to whether or not those are the main battery packs or like a sub battery or the, the, the 12 volt, um, but I'm pretty certain that it seems like it's going to be the main battery. Um, give me a moment and I'll explain to you why I thought there was a little bit of uh, a confusion there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, yeah, first we're going to start off by uh, looking into CTS. Uh, sorry, CTNS. Um, well, no. First thing we're going to do, see that's what I'm talking about, I'm excited. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, go ahead and read the announcement from LinkedIn that uh, Mr. Junmo Kim put up and then we'll kind of go from there. The post says thus. Thrilled to announce that Aptera Motors and CTNS signed the Master Supply Agreement and Investment Agreement at CTNS headquarters on the 22nd of December, 2023. Provincial Council Dr. Jian Ki Pong and members of IRE visited the site to celebrate the future of both companies. The, pr the purpose of the agreement is to formalize business relationships between two enti entities and build a sound foundation for their future cooperations. Upon these agreements, CTNS will install the battery production lines and supply the battery packs to Aptera uh, Motors as a Tier 1 supplier and invest some million dollars in Aptera Motors. Uh, I believe that means they're investing $1 million, but just give me a second here. Uh, <laughs> the total size of the contract is more than $15 million. Dr. Jian, uh, Jian commented on uh, at his welcoming speech that as a leading startup representing, oh Lord help me, uh, I apologize in advance, Gyeong Sang uh, Nam Do, CTNS has done remarkable jobs and contributed to the regional prosperity. We are happy to support CTNS's global business with Aptera Motors and a good package program. Uh, a good package programs including, uh, here we go again, Gyeongnam Techno Park will be provided. Uh, Ki Jung Kwan, CEO of CTNS, remarked, "I believe that this is an important moment for CTNS to leapfrog into the future unicorn in global market and sincerely appreciated." to Chris Anthony and Aptera Motors to become our partner for the journey. Chris Anthony responded, happy to invite CTNS as an official partner for Aptera Motors and was impressed by uh, impressed a lot by the enthusiasm and spirit of the Korean startup. Uh, you can see the, uh, the picture here that they took uh, looks pretty official to me, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the implications thereof and um, exactly what uh, CTNS is. Um, as you can see, oh, I was not at the top of that. Uh, CTNS is a global eco-friendly energy company in the era of BOT. Uh, I gotta look up what BOT means, but it seems like an acronym for like uh, a type of battery technology. Anyway, uh, CTNS is creating sustain a sustainable world based on battery packs, BMS, and safety control system technology. So they are a battery company. Uh, they were founded in 2017. Uh, their mission is to pursue uh, mutual growth of customers, the company, and employees in good faith while creating a sustainable world through eco-friendly energy technology. Um, overall, they seem like a pretty interesting company. Um, the more I read about them, the more I liked, so um, that's good that Aptera is bringing up uh, partners that could uh, benefit the company and uh, help grow other startups like Aptera. Um, 
another sidebar, uh, because the battery company is a, uh, a Korean battery company instead of a Chinese battery company, the U.S. Uh, is basically a free trade country with uh, South Korea. And uh, yeah, that would basically mean that so long as the language of the uh, EV tax credit uh, bill changes to allow three-wheeled vehicles, Aptera could in fact receive that tax credit, um, assuming that they are uh, keeping this deal alive and that they can get the, the lobbying effort together to make this change, Aptera will be a very, very competitive, uh, competitively priced vehicle. I think this may have been the plan all along, um, and I think that it is amazing that they are um, pushing for battery partners that uh, meet the criteria for uh, the free trade agreement. Um, if that is the case and if they have done so um, uh, with the expectation that the language of the bill for the uh, tax credits is going to change, uh, that would mean that they might have been lobbying for this uh, for far longer than what we uh, heard them talk about them lobbying for and uh, that their lobbying efforts are uh, bearing fruit. So I hope that is the case, uh, but we will not know that for certain until the language of uh, the tax credits uh, stipulations changes. So yeah, man, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I saw that uh, that post really super early uh, this morning, and I wanted to make sure that I got a video out about it as soon as possible. So uh, you will notice that uh, this was a very rushed video. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Ninjaneer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe and other, other youtube -y things, go ahead and do those things down in the comments. Please share this video because this is gigantic news that um, I believe would um, make even the staunchest of opponents to Aptera think twice about their staunch opposedness. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, step forward for Aptera and uh, gets them that much closer to having the, the tax credit for EVs apply to them as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am an engineer. Um, yeah, again, do the YouTube -y things and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Sorry, one last thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, the, uh, the video that I promised last week could not happen last week even though I tried to upload it, my internet was down. So I apologize, but I'm going to be putting that video out this upcoming Friday. I've already uh, uploaded it and what have you, but this video kind of took precedence so I changed the release date for that video to later this week. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, all that jazz. Have a good day. Uh, have a good week. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, happy Hanukkah. Uh, all the all the happy holidays. How about that one? Happy holidays to everyone. Uh, and yeah, catch you next time.